Hello everyone, here's a question. A girl buys a lemon at 4 for rupees 3 and sells them at 5 for rupees 4. How much how much percent loss or gain does she make? Now this is a completely different question and the question if you read is quite twisting one. We have given that a girl buys a lemon at 4 means she bought a 4 lemons for 3 rupees and sell them at 5 means she sold 5 lemons for 4 rupees maybe she's having a more lemons and total she sold a 5 lemons for 4 rupees like means each is 4 rupees how much percent loss or gain she got so here to find out this we're going to find out the uh, selling price and cost price of one lemon so that we can compare the values so let's find out that so they have given the girl buys right buys means the cost price and she buy she buys a four lemon for three rupees. So let's write down that. So cost price of four lemon is equal to rupees three. Now here we're gonna find out the cost price of one lemon. So CP cost price of one lemon will be equal to rupees 3 divided by 4 because 4 lemon is equal to 3 rupees right so here you want to find out the lemon price one lemon so transpose this 4 to other side you will get lemon is equal to rupees 3 by 4 so there is no value here means 1 is there so 1 lemon cost is 3 by 4 so similarly you are going to find out the selling price so they have given selling price of 5 lemons. So, selling price of 5 lemons is equal to rupees 4. Then, selling price of 1 lemon is equal to rupees 4 divided by 5. Now, we can compare which one is greater. Since we have got cost price of 1 lemon and selling price for 1 lemon, we have to see which value is greater here. Now, I hope you all learned how to find, how to compare the fractions. If you don't know, I am going to teach you this easy one. Here we have 3 by 4 and here we have 4 by 5. You don't have to take LCM and all. I am going to just show you how to do this in a few seconds. Cross multiply. Multiply this denominator with this numerator and this 4 which is in denominator with this numerator. It's like a cross multiplication. So, 5 3 is 15 and 4 4 is 16. Now, which value is greater 15 or 16? 16 is greater than 15, right? Which means 4 by 5 is greater than 3 by 4. So, 4 by 5 is SP. So, SP is greater than CP. Okay. Now, since 4 by 5 is greater than 3 by 4, we can say selling price is greater than cost price. So, whenever the selling price is greater than cost price, we always get gain or profit will get. So, we have to find out the gain here and gain percentage also. So, gain is equal to, so gain is selling price minus cost price. So, the answer is in fraction. So, it's a 4 by 5 minus 3 by 4. Now, to solve this, we will take LCM because denominator has to be same. So, LCM of 4 and 5 is, LCM of 4 and 5 is 20. Now, change the denominators to 20. So, this is equal to 4 by 5. So, with 5, what you should multiply to get 20? It's 4. So, multiply 4 in the numerator and in the denominator. Minus, here we have 3 by 4. With 4, what you should multiply to get 20? It is 5. So, multiply 5 in the numerator. Now, denominators are same. Multiply them. So, 4, 4 is so 16. 16 by 20 minus 15 by 20. Now, you can subtract the numerators because denominators are same. So, we will get here 16 minus 15 which is equal to 1 by 20. So, 1 by 20 is the gain. It is just a gain here. We have to find out the gain percentage. So, I am going to erase this part here. So, gain percentage is equal to total gain that is how much gain and we have to compare this with CP. So, gain upon CP multiplied by 100. Right. So, this is equal to here the gain is 1 by 20. So, 1 by 20 upon it is divided right. So, divided by. So, here the CP of 1 lemon we should take which is 3 by 4. So, divide by 3 by 4 multiplied by 100. Now, the answer is in fraction that is why I have written in this way 1 by 20 this divided by 3 by 4. 
So, I have to erase this part here. So, this is equal to you have learned that when you are dividing a two fraction the first fraction will remain same division will become multiplication. Now, take a reciprocal of second fraction reciprocal of 3 by 4 is 4 by 3 we will get here 4 by 3 multiplied by 100. Now, cancel all the numbers you can cancel 20 and 100 directly in 20 table 21s are 25 are. Now, we do not have anything else to cancel so just multiply the numbers in numerator so 4 5s are 20 and in the denominator we have 3 so 20 by 3 percentage. So, if you want you can convert this into a uh, mixed fraction or you can convert this into decimal I am going to convert this into mixed fraction. So, the closest to 20 is in 3 table is a 3 uh, sorry 3 6 are 18 right. So, we will get here 6 and denominator will be same 3 3 6 are 18 to get 20 we have to add 2 more. So, we will get 2 in the numerator you can open and check the answer. So, 3 6 are 18 18 plus 2 is 20. So, we got 20 in the numerator. So, the answer is 6 2 by 3 percentage that is it. So, this is a question I hope it is clear in case you have any other question or doubt you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.